everybody welcome back to Jitsu 2000 here today uh, behind me you can see that I have a few things I have a, some olive oil I have a lighter an orange and a knife and what my process for this video today what I want to show you is I want to show you how you can use those items to make a candle we're gonna use this orange as our candle and we're gonna fuel it with some olive oil so stay with me and I hope you enjoy the video today okay first thing I want to do is I want to take my orange and the side that has the the part that connects to the tree that little belly button if you will I want to just pop that little belly button off pop that thing off now I'm gonna take my orange set it down and I'm gonna cut it in half nothing too crazy you don't have to get fancy now inside you'll notice the center there's this little white area what I need to do is I need to remove all the meat all the orange out from inside of this but I need to leave this white part alone it's very important that I don't damage this piece because we're going to use that as our wick so I'm going to take my fingers and just very gently I'm going to start kind of peeling this thing back trying to work my fingers in to get into this inner material and work this stuff out you know it, it works pretty good once you get a little piece that pops out the rest of it kind of follows it's almost like dominoes if you will uh, at this point it's very important not to damage this outer area because this is going to be the reservoir in which we're going to house our oil so again I'm just digging through with my fingers just trying to rip the insides of the orange out just kind of peeling it from the inside out and again I'm being very careful not to remove that center stem see this I'm just peeling it from the inside out taking this meat out of this orange so this is what I have left I have the the orange peel no cracks no cuts and on the inside I have this center stem from here I'm gonna set it down and I'm gonna look at it and see how well it sits if I need to set it on something to hold it I might find something you know that I can set down and set it on top of some sort of holder to keep it kinda of level now I'm gonna pour some olive oil in it doesn't matter what kind of oil really you could use vegetable oil you could use corn oil you could use canola oil sunflower oil there's all kinds of oils that you can use I'm just using olive oil in the video today another thing I want to mention I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here another thing I want to mention is when I pour the oil in I want to make sure that as I pour it I'm pouring it on top of the stem, on top of what's going to be our wick because I want to saturate that wick very well so I'm just pouring it right on top of the wick doesn't have to be full all the way from here it's full of oil I'm going to set my oil aside and I'm going to let it sit for about five minutes so I'll see you in about five minutes okay now I'm back it's been about five minutes from here it's time to light this candle now because this stem which is our wick it might have been a little bit moist it's gonna take a little bit of effort to get it lit so don't 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 get nervous about that just take your time and keep the flame on the wick it takes a little bit to get these started for the first time 
once you get them started and they get burning and things like that, you can blow them out and start them just like a regular candle. But again, that first initial light is the one that's difficult. So be patient. Stay on it. Don't get frustrated or anything like that. Because what we're doing is a couple things. We're trying to dry out the stem a little bit. And this is our initial light. I think it's lit. Yeah, it's lit. I can feel the heat off of it. I'm going to kill these overhead lights real quick. So you can see a little better. It's like a, it's about to go out. I think it just went out. Let's go ahead and light it up again. It was lit there for a second. And a lot of people kind of wonder, how is it that this works? This works the same way that, a, that an umbilical cord feeds the baby. That portion which is connected to the tree is what, feel, what um, fuels the orange. So all the nutrients, all the vitamins, everything that this fruit has comes through that, that cord, if you will, that wick. And so it's kind of a capillary action that it uses that puts that fuel through that wick. So again, keep lighting it. See it's lit. I'm going to kill another light. Bear with me. So you can see that it's lit now. One more light. Sorry everybody. Okay, so now we have this thing lit. Let's see what it looks like without this one. There we go. So now we have our oil candle. Looks like it's about to go out again, but once it gets going you'll see that it'll start to feed itself. Once it develops that capillary action where it starts to suck the fuel through, the, through that wick, it'll burn pretty well. That process takes a little bit of time, and you just have to be patient. In the meantime, I'm going to take this other half of the orange, the portion that did not have the button on it, this is the other side of the orange and I'm going to take the innards out of this side and there's nothing in the center that I need to be aware of on this one it's just I'm taking the guts out and I'll explain why I'm doing this in a minute and in the meantime I'm going to let that burn and let it kind of prime itself so I'm just pulling the guts out of this one and I'm trying to stay in the view of the camera but enough where you can see this I'm trying not to block that but I'm trying to let you see what I'm doing here too so I'm just taking the innards out of this one so I have something like that looks like our orange is starting to burn really well now from here, I'm going to take and I'm going to cut a small circle in the top with my knife. And the purpose of the circle is to kind of let the, the flame breathe, if you will. Okay, I've marked my spot where I'm going to cut. should rip right out now. So I've kind of scored the area. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle or anything like that, obviously. Just something like that. Now what this is going to do is this is going to be kind of a lid. See, we're burning nice and burning real nice. I'm going to set that on just kind of like a lid. And that will protect the candle from the wind and things like that. And it'll make it almost like a light bulb. And it, the hole in the top 
will allow it to continue to burn. It will allow the oxygen in enough to sustain the flame and it'll keep it going. And we're burning strictly off of olive oil. Let's take a closer look. You can see that this thing looks like a little light bulb. It's kind of neat. If you look down in, you can see our little flame down there. I'm going to kill these other lights and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's it sitting on the on the bench there. Again, you can look down and you can see the flame inside. And at any time you could take that cover off if you'd like, the little cover that we made. But this just glows just like a little light bulb. Take the cover off and explode, expose the flame a little bit if you'd like. Put the cover back on. These are fun. They're a very fun project. You got some kids running around the house. They would love to do a project like this. So that's our orange candle. Thought it went out because I turned the light on, but it's still burning away. <laughs> it's kind of funny because when I turned the light on, everything got dark or light, I guess you could say. Kind of a neat little, neat little project. And all it is is just that, that wick, that natural wick that comes on the orange. Again, you can pull that aside. And another thing that I forgot to mention is you can use this portion. If you don't have something to hold it, you can use this as the holder almost spilled a little oil there if you don't have something like this you can use that as a holder to hold your little orange candle puts out a good flame and this thing will burn for several hours Well, there you have it, everybody. I want to say thank you for watching the video today. I hope you found some good, useful information. Feel free to thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, send me a private message. And as always, have a beautiful day. Thanks again for watching. I want to show you one more thing before I go. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And you might be wondering what these things look like when they're finished. When they're all done and they're burned out it'll burn the center out like this this is one that burned for gosh I think it burned for about six or seven hours it'll it'll turn black around the center and the little wick part you'll see how it looks so again thanks for watching everybody have a beautiful day and enjoy your candles they're a lot of fun. Bye-bye. Sorry for that shaky camera. I'm trying to get you guys a good view there.